Even the S&Ps end the week on a two-day decline, taking us down to about 43.25 to end the week. Yeah, we were lower on the week, but things could have been a lot worse. Uh, today we got down as low as one and three quarter percent. We did see a modest uh, lift off those lows to end the day. So we ended up the day down about uh, three quarters of a percent. But ultimately risk off was sort of the theme we saw today. We came in this morning uh, to a lot of uh, open to a lot of funding issues we're seeing uh, that caused volatility to bid not only in equities, but we saw it in rates, we saw it in commodities, we saw it in pretty much all asset classes, some higher than others. Equities did not see the spike in volatility that was maybe seen in other asset classes. But certainly as volatility goes up, it's a good sign or a good indication that prices, indices, uh, equity indices are going lower. And that's exactly what happened. Taking a little bit of a step back, since the January 4th all-time high was put in, we're down about 10%. And last week we got down even lower. We traded all the way down to 4101. So we're well off that uber low. But clearly the market uh, is seeing some kind of a, a shift lower in equities after the run-up we saw in 2021. And that buy the dip theme, which worked so many times in 2021, hasn't seemed to have worked in 2022, albeit it's only been a little over two months of 2022. So still plenty of time to correct that uh, trend. But ultimately right now what we're seeing is risk assets uh, moving lower as risk riskless assets continue to remain firm. And that's exactly what we saw to close out the week today, ending E-minis at around 43.25. Now, what does this all mean for volatility? Well, the VIX index typically sees big spikes higher when we see big moves lower. Now, we did see a move lower. We didn't see a big move lower in equities today, at least one that would constitute volatility to get spiked to new highs. We did see the VIX index move higher, but it stayed below 35. Recall when we saw that big move lower last week, we, we neared almost 40. So we're going to end the week in the VIX index just north of 30. So while it isn't uh, a, a fear or at least a, uh, a spike higher that we're typically used to when we see declines in the equities, we are still seeing elevated levels in the VIX index as we are amongst all asset classes heading into the weekend. Lastly, what do we have next week? What could push this market one way or the other? Well, the key next week is going to be CPI. Uh, after today's non-farm payroll number, uh, which did come in stronger and more positive, uh, gives the Fed a little bit more latitude as to how they want to approach March FOMC. Obviously, the higher inflation numbers has been a thorn in the side of the Fed for quite some time. They've talked about it. We heard from Mr. Powell this week talking about inflation moving higher than expected. Uh, this week's, uh, next week's CPI number expected to come in right around 8%, so hovering on those four-decade highs, that will likely give the Fed some more ammo as to whether they want to raise rates more aggressively or they just want to kind of do measured rate hikes the way they did back in 2004. Uh, ultimately, though, the Fed will be the focus, or at least the FOMC meeting the following week will be the focus. No Fed speakers next week, given the fact that we're in the blackout period prior to March FOMC. So equities indices across the board were lower, but it could have been a lot worse. e minis end the day down about three quarters of a percent at 43.25 and looking ahead next week to CPI.